Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and there has been an update made on the Endgame Gear XM2W, and it seems like they have lost the people with this one. I'm not gonna lie. These are literally just straight replies that I've pulled up, and yeah, um, I'm gonna get into the announcement, just react to it. It is a day. I had to sit on this for a day, just think about it. And yeah, the final assembly of the XM2W has yet to start. Speaking only of the facts of the matter, in their last update, they said we are expecting to start mass production around the end of October. Currently, it is December 7th, and the end of October is long past, and they still have not began mass production. I'm going to skip, just skim over quickly through some of this um, to get to the part that says Q4 2022 will not be feasible given said circumstances. And they don't say that Q1 2023 is necessarily a lock. So this is another kind of just like, we don't know how long this delay is going to be delay. The big problem is the dual core ST chip. They're basically using a chip that nobody else has used and they have to write their own firmware to give a brief rundown. The three main chips that I know for 3395s are like the Compax MCU, which is like what Pulsar, Lamzu Atlantis, mice like that use. Then there's the Nordic chip with which I believe G-Wolves mice, the Lethal Gaming Gear LA1 use, and then the dual core ST chip, which only Endgame Gear is using so far. And yeah, they just basically cannot make it work. They're getting help directly from ST. And when you're a smaller level client for these like huge chip manufacturers, as far as I know, you're not really given amazing preferential treatment. So it seems like I do have a lot of sympathy for them. Like they're not having an easy time with this. They had to deal with uh, the lockdowns in China for a long time as well. So yeah, I just don't know what to say about the Endgame Gear XM2W. They also said the PCBs are ready, but not assembled. So it... I'm not sure how ready they are like they have them i do believe that but yeah things just are not things are not moving swiftly you can see the shells um they say the skates are done i presume the switches are done they don't really specify on that but yeah man um they did make a new mouse though because what's better to do when you can't release one mouse than make another one and i am honestly not hating on this i did see um, some people like, hold on, let me scroll down to fresh reviews. He was like upset that there's a mouse with older internals releasing before, but I'm just happy that they're releasing some sort of wireless mouse. The XM2 Wireless Essential, I'm going to call it the XM2 Wii, has a 3370, 1000 hertz polling rate, which I mean, I think the XM2W is also going to be 1000 hertz, but there might, they might sell a dongle in the future. I don't even know, but if the XM2 Wii is good quality, like low 60 gram range, same shape, I feel Feel like at $80 price point or something around that it's not bad like it's not bad that Endgame Gear is releasing some sort of mouse when they just really don't have a lot of control I mean they do have control but they're fumbling that control it's like a football team with a bad running back and yeah they say they're not going to do pre-orders but what surprised me is the time frame they've already made the first batch it's going to be shipped to them next week availability potentially this month so that mouse is going to be out before the end of the year while they're just still like rewriting the firmware on the XM2W. So it's really sad. And just to clarify, it does have to be taken with a massive grain of salt um, because who knows when the availability is actually going to be. Um, but it's clear that running pre-orders was just not the move with the XM2W. Like, just look at this, man. Eight months ago, the pre-orders went live for $120. A lot of people, like, you have to have faith in a company to do that. I feel like a lot of people did lose trust in Endgame Gear. Uh, this situation has been very interesting to see. I'm I'm just happy making these updates. I want to see when the mouse actually comes out, how many more updates there are going to be on Endgame Gear's end, how many more videos I'm going to post about it, because um, it's definitely the most, like, controversial mouse potentially i don't know if it's on the same level as zowie wireless at this point uh, but let me know what you think if you pre-ordered is your pre-order still open have you refunded it have you refunded it and gotten an alternative because i see a lot of people have done that um, are you going to refund and get the xm2 Wii? there's a plethora of options um, but yeah, it's it's fucking wild. What a situation. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the coverage. Uh, but that's going to be all. Peace.